Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan Stacy, and welcome to the Hockey Minds Conference. I'm ecstatic to have everyone join us here today to listen to a number of outstanding guest speakers uh, talk about various areas of hockey operations. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the listeners for tuning in today and, and throughout the weekend. Um, it's, you know, for without you guys, it's uh, it's really not a conference. So just for the support and even uh, transferring that to the support on the podcast from day one, it's uh, it's been a great journey thus far. And uh, again, I just want to thank you for for making all this a reality. Um, second, in, t- in terms of making it a reality, the uh, the speakers themselves, uh, the amount of work that's gone in behind the scenes in making the presentations and and uh, you know building the lineup and, and sharing ideas and, and coordinating, especially on roundtables. Uh, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed, guys, and it's uh, you know it, it goes a long way in making these types of presentations work. And um, as you'll see, they're very knowledgeable uh, guests and individuals and. Uh, they have a lot to offer. So be sure to tune in to each and every uh, presentation. And, and thanks again, everyone, for uh, your contribution in that area. Third, I want to thank those who weren't actually able to make the Hockey uh, hockey Minds Conference lineup. Um, there were a number of people who had expressed interest and for whatever reason, whether it's um, technical issues, scheduling conflicts, um, you know, more personal things. And then even just the, the nature of the offseason in hockey, as many people know, uh, if you're maybe in a, a lower level or, or trying to climb up that ladder, a lot of times you're changing positions, a lot of movement, uh, moving between countries, all these different things. So uh, for those who still helped throughout the process and, and you know, presented ideas and, and kind of helped me along um, the way in terms of running a conference and, and organizing things, um, while you ultimately didn't make uh, it, it, it here today with all the number of uh, final guests and listeners, uh, you guys know who you are, and I just want to thank you again for your contributions uh, in the process. Uh, one presentation in particular that I was really hoping to get to share with everyone today was a female hockey roundtable. Um, unfortunately, just schedules didn't work, and we weren't able to uh, finalize that roundtable. But rest assured, you will get to hear it on the podcast, and uh, in the next month or so, we'll definitely get it out to listeners and a tremendous uh, number of guests on that roundtable as well. Uh, in terms of the conference and how it's going to work here over the next couple of days, um, everything will be released through YouTube. Uh, what I would do is right away, go to the uh, Hockey Minds podcast YouTube account, subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll be notified every time a video is released. Um, each presentation is pre-recorded, but it will be released at the time of the schedule to give it a more conference-like feel. Um, if at any point you can't make a presentation, don't worry about it because everything will be on demand and I will leave it on demand uh, following the conference as well. Uh, in terms of asking questions where it is pre-recorded and uh, that was a decision made just based on the sheer number of people that were involved in uh, trying to coordinate schedules uh, for questions. What you can do is either um, you can put your questions in the comment section of each YouTube video. Uh, that's one option, but the, the best option and to get more interaction would be to use social media, uh, Twitter in particular, and, and on that platform, uh, you can use hashtag hockey minds. That way I can see it and monitor it from the podcast accounts and also um, relay it to guests where possible. Um, at the same time, where some guests uh, just know, like I said, their their personal schedules aren't able to coordinate or, or whatever the case may be. Um, some people might not be able to answer at the time of their presentation. So if that's the case, or even if it's a situation where um, they don't have social media, what I will do is uh, collect all the questions again, use that hashtag or, or tag the account or, or um, the individual speaker. And I will compile those into a hockey minds newsletter at a later date to get some answers uh, for those who aren't able to answer at the exact time of their presentation. Um, in addition to that, each video has an individual link. Uh, you will be able to find those on social media on our uh, hockey minds podcast website. And it's also being emailed to subscribers on the website as well. So uh, be sure to subscribe to that, but also you can get it through social media and all of our guests will be sure to share it as well. Um, And as I mentioned before, subscribing to the YouTube channel would be the best place because then you will not miss anything. You'll get notified every single time a video is released. Um, With that, I just want to, again, thank everyone for their participation leading up to the event. Uh, I know we had some changes in dates and all these different kinds of things, but uh, I am ecstatic for the outcome of, of what we have. I've been able to watch the presentations and um, thoroughly think that there's a lot of great hockey minds here. And uh, even the people maybe at the lower levels are just getting started. I think there's some people in this lineup that we're going to be hearing, uh, you know, for a number of years down the road. And, and hopefully uh, many of them will one day reach the NHL level if that is their goals. So thank you again for everyone for their participation, for uh, helping me in the process. 
Uh, it's a great event and, and I hope listeners will learn as much as I did throughout the process. So thank you again, everyone. Enjoy the conference, stay safe and all the best.